Hello and welcome to this video which is about the metronome settings in Cubase. So this is something which is only a, a subtle change but it's something that certainly speeds my workflow a little bit and every little helps as they say. So you're hopefully aware that Cubase has a metronome and you can turn it on and off either with this button down here or with C on the keyboard for click and we've also got pre-count count in here which you can turn on and off with this icon here. If you don't see all those just click the three dots until you see something appropriate and you'll be able to turn those on and off. But one of the things I typically want when I'm recording, particularly early on in a session, is I want the click to be on when I'm recording, but I don't want it on when I'm playing back because it can mask timing issues and this, that, and the other. And there's typically timing issues when I play anything on the keyboard for sure. So this is something typically you turn on and off, you'd press C, you'd record, you'd press C again, etc. You can get it to do this automatically. So there is a setting under transport, and metronome setup. So in the window here, it's this setting here, click while playing. So if you turn this off and then confirm that, even though I've got the metronome turned on, I'm gonna mute the drums because we don't wanna hear them at the moment. I've got the metronome turned on. So you can see the metronome is turned on here, but we're not hearing anything. And we're not hearing anything because it only does it during recording. So if I go to, let's say bar five, and let's just record from here, we'll hear the counting. We'll hear the metronome during the recording as well as the drums, but then we won't hear it when we play it back. So you can hear there the click fairly clearly. But then we go back to review that. You can hear no metronome. So it's only a small bit of sort of workflow improvement, but it's something that I find useful. It's nice to have that there. And obviously now you know, you can decide whether it's any good for you. As ever, hope you found this useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.